Hey guys, it's Jeremy here. I'm gonna show you how to quickly texture this logo in 30 seconds. So what you wanna do is just wanna drop in your logo that you've created, make sure it's a vector format so it's easy to move around, and you wanna make it white. You also wanna have a nice color palette, so have a bright color in the background, or it can be a dark color if you want, that's totally cool. I'm gonna make an artboard here. You can see I'm gonna drag my logo up into the center here, and now we need to add the color in the back. I'm gonna press M for the rectangle tool, left click, drag out, the box, choose the color I want. I'm gonna bring that to the back with the shortcut key. So I've got my logo in the center here, and what I'm gonna do is go to a, a texture that I've downloaded. It can be a, a bitmap or a vector texture. I'm gonna select it, press Control C, go back to my document, Control V, drop that in. So you can see the texture is big and it's black. So we wanna drop that down, scale it down, and then we wanna change the color as well. So I've scaled that down, select the texture, select my blue color, and now you can see we've textured our logo. So it really works well when you have the same color as the background as you do as the texture. So you can see it overlays it and it makes it look a lot more authentic and gritty and grungy, which is kind of cool. A cool trick you can do as well is you can actually scale up the texture. You can also scale it down, also move it around or rotate it. If you go to the corner of the selection and like to rotate it, and see what other type of effects you can get with the texture. As you see, that's pretty cool. I also like to duplicate it as well. So I'll press Control C, Control F. So I'll paste another one on top. And I'll rotate that one. Keep in mind that if you have a very um, grungy texture that's very noisy, has a lot of anchor points, your computer might lag. So keep that in mind. So you can see that I got, if I use outline mode, you can see I've got a couple textures there rotated and it creates this nice effect so if I zoom in there you can see all that little texture all those anchor points and paths make it look super cool so that's a quick way to texture your logos in